Nymeria. Hello, Slacker. We are back on Crash Landing. <laughs> hey, you sound really Hello. excited. I am excited. Aha, yeah, did we leave? We left for a minute. We had some... <laughs> So hello everybody, I'm Slash and VC. This is Crash Landing. I'm playing with Nymeria again. And we have finished the high oven project. And we are about to start the pneumatic craft project. We're gonna build the pneumatic craft pressure chamber. Here's what the high oven looks like now. I added two layers to it, which allows us to do three ingots at one time, and when the sucker heats up, it gets up to about three thousand degrees instead of I think it was two. It might have been one thousand, I don't know. But it's hotter, it works faster, it does more at one time. As a matter of fact, it tore through our whole supply of ores pretty quick. And I talked about this in the last episode. I did lower the ceiling, so I think that looks a lot better, personally. Mm. I have a dilemma. And what's your dilemma? Well, I in my casting thing over here, I thought I had enough to make another block of Invar. And, but I only had eight instead of nine. So now I've got to oh. add just the right amount of iron to make one more ingot of invar. Well, it's t uh, you've got ten in there already. You'd have well, to put in nickel. twenty iron. That's nickel. So I'm adding iron to the nickel to make one more bar of invar. As you see, it's like ninety percent full in here. Uh -huh. I don't want to break that. And then you know. Oh yeah, you're gonna get two ingots out of that, I think. Oh well. Oh, let's see. No, wait. If I Let's can see. just get one ingot, then it'll yeah, fill yeah, this yeah, yeah. up, and then I can, you know, move the casting basin over and just cast some ingots. That'll be fine. But I don't no, okay. want to lose eight invar. Oh yeah, sure. Okay, sorry. I think you, I think you're doing the right thing here. I hope so. Looking good. Let me know. I'm gonna make some uh, slime plant real quick and some slimes because I want stickers. It's a whole rabbit hole. Uh, I had to sift about a half a stack of sand to get the um, cocoa bean seeds. So I got my cocoa beans, and then you have to mix your cocoa beans with your grass seeds. And there's your slime plant seeds. Oh, it's going to be night. We did not wait until morning to start recording, did we? Do what? Three and bar. Okay. Fill it. Fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up. Yes. <laughs> Your name's Philip. That was for you. <laughs> okay, I'm headed inside. Hmm. Flash. Where what? are you? Oh, oh, oh. Night time. I'm playing with these seeds. Alright. It says you can plant them on grass. I think I'll do that. Oh, uh, the slime plant seeds? Yeah. I think the only ones you have to plant on water are the squid. Yeah. Well, I didn't know if it could be grass. Um, it says farmland would also work, so they're not too picky. <laughs> Let's try this. Yeah, there they go. What is that? Oh, slag. Okay. Weird. Uh -huh. Oh, now check that out. You, uh, I'm going to try this one more time. I bone mealed them, and I broke them, and I didn't get another seed out. Come on. There we go. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's a big one. Give me a slime ball. There goes one. Thank you. Thank you. There's two more. Are you being attacked by slimes? Yeah, I spawned some slimes over here, and I'm hoping they dropped another seed for me. Uh, I didn't get any seeds out of that, but that's okay. I just saw them on the... Uh... Oh, wait. Hey, look. There's two down here now. Right, let's do this. I'm ready. Um, okay. Yeah, bone mill? Watch your head, man. The last one, it was a big one, and it came down right. from I, above. They don't even know. They don't know. Don't hit me, whatever you... <laughs> you can take it. 
I'm scared of that sword. I got one. All right. Okay, I got six slime balls. We need more. That's uh, do actually, I do actually Little need bomb. um. Let's go. About six oh, more would be good. <laughs> what I meant. Okay, two at one Boom. time now. Oh wow! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> it will be so funny if you die by slime. Uh oh, I won't be laughing. <laughs> it will be funny though. Oh wow! I've got seventeen now. That's way plenty. Well, all right then. Well, that was fun, yeah. right? Hey, where is? Do you know where the ingot cast is? Hmm. Yeah, I threw it to you uh, during the last episode, and I have not seen it since. Hmm. That doesn't seem likely. I made a lot more paper than I need, by the way, if you need, uh... Well, no. No, I didn't. I'm just... Oh, wow. It makes four stickers at a time. I didn't realize that. Uh, but I'm not sure how many I need. I'm just gonna make a bunch. There we go. Yeah. See, that's better. What I'm curious about is when you put the sticker on, and then you move it with a, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, Dolly? Okay. That's not what I would call it, but okay. There we go. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to move them with the Dolly and see if the sticker stays on there or what. Five iron, one plank, Dolly. Okay, so let's say I want to pick this guy up and put him here. Yeah, that looks okay. But what if I pick this guy up? and put him here. Uh-huh. That's what I was thinking. Interesting. I'm going to move these barrels up top because I was thinking when we do the uh, hook up the pneumatic machine up there we're going to probably want to run the items down the same pipe maybe to some chests underneath these barrels and I want the uh, hey. high oven to continue to prefer putting them in the barrels though and it's going to go into the first available slot I think yeah so um like on a scale of one to not sure at all how sure are you that you are the, gave me the ingot gas I am certain you're certain so in this yeah. certainty, is there any possibility that, in fact, what was said in the last video was, hey, man, I'm going to take the ingot cast for my high oven. <gasps> is it still up there? <laughs> oh, How no. How do you think you're, you think getting, you're getting ingots downstairs? downstairs? Um, hmm. Magic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. magic. magic. I'm taking my ingot mm -hmm. cast back. I'll All right, I'm going to go detonate some TNT. Hey, you want to run the TNT gauntlet? I don't know what a TNT gauntlet is. Me either. I was what planning <laughs> on... Yeah. I'm going to do 64 iron, but I'm afraid to do it all in one stack. Because what if it glitches and I lose a whole stack of iron? So I'm going to split it up into four, right? Uh -huh. And I thought it'd be fun to have four holes and four charges of TNT and just run across the pressure plates. You can do the honors if you want. That's very nice of you. Um, the thing is, I don't want the holes to interfere with each other per se. Hmm. I'll go five. One, two, three, four. So you're yeah, going to do like, like pressure that. plates on the ground and then you're going to just run through them? Yeah. You're a hack. One, I've seen that two, somewhere. Three, <laughs> no, you haven't. I have too. No, you haven't. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's aluminum. That's not going to work. <laughs> Boy, if it did, our problems yeah, would be solved. Oh, yeah. Because you can use aluminum for, like, what, just the hopper, <laughs> I think? Yeah. Yeah. And there's not a lot of things that call for aluminum, actually. Okay, so we've got like all the invar in the world. 
we've got like seven blocks. Uh -huh. And now we've got a bunch of nickel. Hey, when I just melted the nickel in the casting thing over there, it did not turn into ferrous. It turned into nickel ingots. Explain. Um, Tinkers does that, I guess. Yeah, because yours says ferrous. Right. So for anyone watching, um, if you lose your nickel... <laughs> It's probably changed its name to Ferris. Hey, that's a good tip. Yes, and your platinum likes to also be known as Shiny. It's like their nicknames. I'll no longer be known as Nickel. I should be known as Ferris. Okay, you ready to run the gauntlet? Oh, sure. I was going to eat, but eating's for suckers. Where are you? Four chickens. Okay, go for it. What do you mean, go for it? You're not going to do this, just, dude? No, we just need one. We just need one. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. How many ingots did you put in there? Ow. 64. This is a good way to get dust. <laughs> okay, though. This How many is did not you get? A good way to get dust. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. I got twenty-four. Ooh. How many did you put not in a there? Great, not a great ratio. A stack. So. So sixty-four or one hundred and fifty. Sixty-four. <laughs> hey man, this is a big hole. Yeah, and uh, for anyone who watched our earlier video, please know slash does in fact know that D times three is not 64. Oh yeah, I know. I did I, I that was just I, I said, "Yeah, okay. So 50 <laughs> times 3." 64. So I'll get 64 out yeah. of there. Uh total brain mouth disconnect. Oh, I need that uh compressed That's that you've got on you. Come on now. No. Don't be like that. I thought about it and I've decided that I need it. For my nefarious plans. I don't know what those I'm plans the are door. yet, but they're nefarious. Okay. That is not the only correction that I need to make um, <laughs> regarding the last episode, by the way. Um, I can demonstrate this really quickly. Uh, one, two, three, four. So, the high oven triples your ores. Yes, it does. If you put them in there as dust, I'm going to put that one in as gravel, and then... One, two, three, four. We'll put this one in as dust. Do I not have any iron? Uh, I'll just hit it with my hammer. It'll be fine. Oh, well, you'd have to warm up this high oven to demonstrate. But anyway, a lot of the ores that I put in there came out doubled. And it's because you absolutely must break them all the way down. To dust form in order to get the tripling effect so beware of that anyone who um, gets excited about this high oven it is awesome yeah and I imagine like on a, a, an actual world that's not dust it would work like a charm right so you got to watch out about this um, ex nihilo dust and, and differences boink okay so then that turns it into sand now the sand also will not triple. I did test it. The sand will double. And then if you go all the way down to dust form, let's see if we can catch this in action. Um, the stars are out. The stars are out? Uh-oh, okay. Let me read my iron reading here. 52, okay. So I'm getting the bed. Fifty-two, <laughs> and boom, right there. You saw it for a second. Two ingots in liquid form here. Uh, so it doubled. It doubled the iron. Then you put the dust in, and you'll see it triple for sure. We'll come back and check. But anyway, I need that uh, compressed iron. Mm, no. 
I'm holding it hostage. Hey. I have a sword. <laughs> I don't think you can just whack it out of me anymore, sir. You want to do that? Here. I tell you what. Not really. No, I don't. You hit me, don't. and then I'll hit you, and we'll see who wins the compressed iron. All right, I'll just make more. Here you go, whiny. Come here, poor thing. There, are you happy? Yes, I'm Mary, I'm happy. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> 51, not great. But it'll have to do for now. Did you we use may the regular to TNT or the tiny TNT? I used the regular TNT. So this will give us 24 pressure chamber walls. No, this is going to do it. This is going to do it. I uh, had good pressure. luck with the pressure with that um, using making a cobblestone, you know, area and then putting tiny TNT in there. Yep, tiny TNT is neat stuff. Window and valve. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think we only need one valve on this thing. Uh, all right. I'm going to start building this. If you want to help, you're welcome to. If you're going to the city, uh, that's fine. Give me two shakes, man. Hold on. Okay. So our next, what do you make? Green plastic. Do we have creeper seeds? Uh, yes. Check the seed box. I think I put them in there. If I didn't, they're in the mob drop box out by the grinder. Okay. Well, we'll get the pressure chamber built, and then I'll do that. Give me just enough time to break up this. I'm just trying to put a stack of sand in there because I'd really like to make. I'd really like to make some mycelium. That would be good, so I could make the soul sand and the netherrack, and in stone. Although I'm not gonna lie, I never did find a reason for in stone. Hey. Flash. What? What? Our block placer isn't working anymore. Someone moved the redstone clock. Oh yeah, I did that. I did that because we ran out of hammers, but we still had nine stacks of gravel uh, in the thing of Okay. Autonomous activator. Uh-huh. And you were too lazy to make hammers. I hear you. I hear you. Where are okay. we building the pneumatic craft? Second story. We need one of those elevators that, you know, you put a, a floor in. That you put a what in? That you, like, you go on it and then you say, second floor, shoes. Oh, yeah. You know, third floor, uh, ladies' underwear. Oh, yeah. The pneumatic craft elevator. I am planning on building one. Um, okay, well... Okay, so the there's a window here. Yeah, that's uh, where the window is here. This is going to be an interface, and then um, on the other side, facing the center of the room, that's going to be an interface when we get to make an interface. And then we'll leave this window in, and then I've got on the back side over here a, um, a valve. So, if you want to hook up the air compressor, the pressure tubes, the valve, and all that stuff in the back while I'm doing this, that'd be great. Okay. And so we need to get this thing built so we can make rain plant seeds. So we can make those interfaces. Yeah. And so we can make... Oh. Green plastic. Oh. OCD time. You don't have OCD. No, I don't have OCD. I do want all these to face the same direction, though, if possible. Let's see if I can get it to go this way. No! Alright. Alright, one more try, and then it's just going to have to be... Oh, well, that's how you do it. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. So it's operational? Uh, yeah, as soon as we get air pressure hooked up to it. Um, oh, of course, we've got to knock out the walls in order to uh, put stuff in it at first. Right, let me and go get so the creeper seeds because I didn't do that. One second. And we need coal, right? 
Why creeper seeds, by the way? Because for the mission, we need green plastic. Oh, for the mission. Okay. And for... Oh! Hey! Hey! My client is seeing the open blocks water as blue. Very good. Finally! Uh, I have no idea why. Okay, so for the mission, we need green plastic, and then for me to craft the um, interfaces for this thing... We need the blue plastic, and I'm going to show the recipe for this. It's actually a little easier than it looks. But you don't want to operate this pressure chamber without these interfaces any longer than possible. These are the way to go. Nothing big here. More compressed iron. Oh, no. What's up? Oh, our box out here is full. Yeah, yeah but that needs to be cleaned out. For sure. Well, I think These we need some gold, and I'll just upgrade it. Yeah, um, that's a good. Well, that's a good call. Iron and gold. These pneumatic cylinders are the problem because they're these need the blue plastic, so six for each. So we need twelve blue plastic there, plus the cannon barrel, uh, which is a safety valve tube, which is pressure gauges over pressure tubes. Um, I've got that part ready to go. Let's get a oh, couple no. of these out. Put them on there, and I think we only really need two more of these safety valve tubes. Okay. Um, I just got wrecked some your thing. You just built. There. Wrecked it. Thought we had more compressed iron. Yeah, we do. So, in case anyone doesn't know, in order to do this before you get interfaces, you have to break it all down to do anything. Yeah, break it down completely, and then put stuff in it, then start it up, and then break it down to pull the stuff out. And uh, even though it might seem like a good idea to put lava in your compression air compressor thing, I wouldn't recommend it. Haha. <laughs> Too much fuel. Um, I want to see if it'll take these blocks of charcoal, though, just out of curiosity. I'm not sure that's a safe thing to do oh, either. A block but of charcoal. A block, yeah, a block of charcoal. I don't think that would be a safe thing to do. Because it's going to try to burn the whole thing. Hey, what's this uh, air compressor on? It's just hanging out here. That, that's not doable. There we go. What is that? Oh, haha. -ha. Okay, so, and the other thing about this is, so we're going to want to run these tubes out, and uh, I usually make an L, and then we'll run redstone between the pressure gauge tube and the air compressor, so that when we reach a certain air pressure, the um, pressure gauge tube will send a redstone signal. Hey, look in the window, it's popping. Pop, 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 pop. All right. You missed it. All right. I want to throw my seeds in there next. All right. I got it open. Come pour your seeds in. Okay. Which means we completed a quest today. I'm going to get the squid plant seeds. So if you'd like to get the speed up, that will be fine. But I am not going through the pain and agony. Of the squid plant seed. Oh boy, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Man, you need squid plant seeds so much that it's not even funny. And if you don't get them on that quest, then you've got to get squids. And that can be a whole adventure in itself. Oh, you got the squid plant seeds for the quest? I did. Oh, good. Because, yeah, we've done this before where we had to spawn squids and kill them for their ink and then mix the ink and blah, da, 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 da. Yeah, it's kind of a pain. Yes. I'm glad you did that. So is this our back window back here? Does this mean that the sun is setting? Yeah. That's facing west. So, yeah, when that thing hits the horizon, that that's what I put this window south. in for. You mean facing west. Well... On the mini-map, it's west, and the sun is setting in that direction, so... Oh, okay. 
Okay, I got you. I don't know how to read a map. <laughs> that makes sense, because my little arrow is pointing towards the west. Okay, I'm with you. See, I was just looking at the map and, and the direction that's at the bottom, you know? I, I had a little derpy moment. I think that's how you say that. Alright, you ready to sleep? Yep, and guess what? We made blue plastic. Cool. And I believe that's our time. Oh, yeah? Are we at time? I think so. I'm pretty sure it works out to be in, like, a day, you know? Like, a day and a yeah. night is, is time, and this has been two days and two nights. Okay. Well, then I'd say you're right. Well, all right, guys. We're going to wrap it up here. Uh, the pressure chamber's built. Uh, next episode, we will definitely put together. As a matter of fact, I'm so ready to do it right now. Oh no, I'm gonna need more compressed iron to make more of those do not first go anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, I won't. But I will show this part right here before we call it a day. Where I is this right? Am I thinking right? And then what is it? Two more compressed iron, I think. Let's pull these out. And by the way, we have an enchantment table on the roof. Boom. Pneumatic cylinder. So I'm going to make a few more of these uh, pneumatic cylinders, and we'll get those interfaces made. And I guess we'll probably put them on here on camera so everybody can see how to do that. And yeah, we do have a uh, enchanting table on site. Yeah. All right, guys. Until next time, this is Slice of DC and Nymerius. Signing off. Bye. -bye.